Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. A popular post on Reddit They Did The Math features the following problem. You walk into an interview and they hit you with, which number is bigger? 3.14 to the power of pi or pi to the power of 3.14? Naturally, this is a no calculator question. So how can you figure it out? Let's think about it intuitively. Pi is approximately equal to 3.14159, which is slightly greater than 3.14. So when we want to compare these two quantities, a first instinct might be to take the higher exponent and think that the number that has the higher exponent would naturally be the larger number. But then you would have a conflicting thought that maybe if you had the larger base, even though it's to a slightly smaller power, that would actually be the larger number. So which one is it? Which number is actually larger? So we try to figure out which number is larger by looking at their bases and their exponents, and we hit a wall. But that's okay. Many times in mathematics, you will experiment in your problem solving because you can't always expect to find a solution in your first attempt. So how are we going to compare these two numbers? We can't directly compare them, so let's transform them into numbers that will be easier to compare. Let us first raise both numbers to the power of 1 over 3.14. This operation will not change the direction of the inequality. The left number will become 3.14 to the power of pi over 3.14, and the right number will just become pi. Let us now raise both numbers to the power of 1 over pi. Again, this will not change the direction of the inequality. The left number will become 3.14 to the power of 1 over 3.14, and the right-hand number will be pi divided by 1 over pi. It remains to compare these two quantities. But now each number has a form we are taking a value raised to the power of its reciprocal. So we can analyze these numbers by considering the function f of x is equal to x raised to the power of 1 over x. If we plot this function, we get the following graph. The function will be increasing until some x value, and then it will be decreasing. Numerically, this x value is at approximately 2.72. So if we have something to the left of this value, then the function is increasing, and to the right of this value, the function will be decreasing. So let us mathematically determine the value where this changes. Let us rewrite f of x in terms of e to the power of something. We will change the base. x to the power of 1 over x is equal to e to the power of 1 over x times the natural log of x. We will now take the derivative of this function. So we have e to the power of 1 over x times the natural log of x, and then we take the derivative of the exponent. The derivative of 1 over x times the natural log of x is a standard quotient rule, and we end up with 1 minus the natural log of x, all over x squared. So let's look at this derivative we have one term, which is e raised to the power of some real number. That will always be greater than zero. We also have a denominator where we have x squared, and for real numbers, x squared will always be greater than or equal to zero, and since x cannot be equal to zero, x squared will always be greater than zero. So these two quantities will always be positive. So the sign of the derivative will only depend on the sign of 1 minus the natural log of x. So f prime of x will be greater than or equal to 0 if and only if 1 minus the natural log of x is greater than or equal to 0. Now we need x to be greater than 0 so that the natural log of x is defined, but we also have a maximum value for x. When x is equal to e, the natural log of e will be equal to 1, and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So this exactly happens when x is greater than 0 and less than or equal to e. But when is the derivative less than 0? It will be when 1 minus natural log of x is less than 0, 
and that happens when x is greater than e. Now, pi and 3.14 are both larger than e, which is approximately 2.72. So we want to look at this case when the derivative is less than zero. If the derivative is less than zero, that means the function f of x is decreasing. Therefore, we can say that f of 3.14 will be greater than f of pi, and that means 3.14 to the power of one over 3.14 is greater than pi to the power of one over pi. So we figured out this comparison, and now let's bring it back to our original problem. We will raise both sides to the power of pi, and then both sides to the power of 3.14, and we have figured out that 3.14 to the power of pi is greater than pi to the power of 3.14. And for completeness sake, the left-hand side is approximately equal to 36.404, and the right-hand side is approximately equal to 36.396. And this validates our calculation. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.